I'm during that weird point in being sick where my voice sometimes gets super low and it's really weird. Like I'm focusing to keep it where it is right now, but if I stop it, it kind of goes down here and it's really weird. <laughs> It's not that it, weird. It'll go... It was a little bit ago, it was going way, way lower. And it was like... Yeah, like, I don't even know. Like, it was like country singer low. I don't know. Can you do a country <laughs> song right now? No, not right now. <laughs> okay. I don't know country songs off the top of my head. Me neither. Uh... Uh, don't worry about it. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah just, just push forward through this and yada, yada, yada. Th this whole place, by the way, is like... I can't tell if it's it's ash or dirt or what's going on because my first instinct is oh most of it is like like limestone or something like that but i actually don't think it is i don't know it's poop it's i dragon think some poop. of these places if you hit it it comes off in a powder so dragon poop no it's not dragon poop dragons don't poop is that canon? <laughs> well they aren't technically alive so i have to assume they don't poop they're not all... I mean, Dude, they're immortal. They're, they're immortal. They are deathless, but they also existed in a time period that didn't have life either in this setting. So oh, there is way. a question of whether they were ever alive to begin with, to be honest, because I don't know. They, they existed in a time that basically had no existence. <laughs> so is poop a, a, an indication of life? I would assume it would be. Okay. I don't want to have this discussion, to be honest. <laughs> I mean... Kind of done with it already. It's, it has potential symbolic <laughs> meaning, considering we can pick up dung pies and sell them to the dragon guy. Oh, well, those are those are human, though. Or, well, they're from the... the oh, ogres. right. I should have healed yeah, you, there. you should... I, or rolled there, excuse roll. me. Yeah. Forgot. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's enough uh, for now you. Now you're going to have to heal probably once or twice to make this work. Once is enough for now. Okay. And then he's to your left. Yeah. And there are skeletons, but honestly, who really gives two fucks? Just don't get stuck behind, like, a wall or a stalactite or something stupid like that. Yep. I was hoping this would go that way. Yeah. Where he, like, immediately does it. He's really tall, by the way. There's a, a very good chance when you're in there swinging... That if he's any, like, if he's on any part of the ground that's a little bit higher than you are, he's probably not going to be able to hit you. Just, like, as a warning. <laughs> yeah. he's, he's tall enough that sometimes his swings don't actually contact. Like... Yeah. Like that. Yeah. I like Nito. Nito's probably my favorite boss in the entire series. And it's sad because he has so little lore compared to, like, all of the other bosses in this game. Um... You, yeah, you'd think that a guy made of skeletons would have a lot of lore by virtue of being... This game the is like 90% skeletons. skeletons. Yeah. I don't know. Oof. Uh, you're gonna want to, like, double heal off of this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so you've got him pretty low, by the way. But, uh... Cool. Yeah, you, you might be able to beat him here. But you're gonna have to fight him smarter. Um... You fight him smarter. <laughs> I'm doing okay. I, I've fought him before. I don't want to do it again. But, uh... Oh, oh God. Yeah, don't die. <laughs> It'll suck if you die. <laughs> yeah, it will. Oh, he's got enough ads up that he's doing the burst again. <laughs> yep. It's like he only does that when he has a certain number of enemies out, even. He, not his cloak, not his cloak, his body. It's, it's really hard to tell, but yeah, you're, you're not actually going to hit him if you just swing on him like that. Because you're not quite close enough to actually hit him. Because his cloak is nothing. It's, it's like ethereal shadow. There we darkness. go. Nice. Dead is dead. Dead is dead. So you've Gross. defeated Gravelord Nito. Does that make me one immortal? Of, one of the three lords of this world. <laughs> Does that make me immortal? Uh, no, but he gave you one humanity. <laughs> Only one? Only one. Huh, okay. <laughs> he he didn't Ooh, really have much of a look at that. Look at that. 60,000. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is anyone going to come and greet me or give me any Uh clues? No. In fact, there should no. be a bonfire around, but I think that's it. And, oh, hey. Was yeah, this here was... before? No, no. It, it comes in when you beat him. How does that work, lore-wise? Um, it's hard to say. 
you could make the argument that because clearly the bonfire is made of bodies that you have converted the boss into a bonfire but i don't know if anybody's ever come up with an argument for it huh does By this the mean way, I can't join that covenant. You if I can, have to? but now when you walk up to join it, there's nothing there. Huh. <coughs> oh. Excuse me. That's because you uh, you beat the guy coming in here. The the dark. Uh, do you remember you you beat the NPC invasion? Uh, oh yeah, yeah. It was what is his name? So pa was, Paladin uh, Leroy, I want to say. So that and that's, was a necro yeah, that was covenant. Him. Yeah, he was part of this covenant, and uh, in defeating him out of there. You've uh, you've picked up his stuff coming in here, for whatever reason. Cool. Uh, I think I've pointed this out before, but of all of the lords in this game, where you have the Witch of Isolith, uh, Gwyn, and Nito, uh, all by the way, the Witch of Isolith does not have a proper name. Um, of the three general lords who first took the the soul, I mean not the soul, the 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 fire, the first fire. Um, Nito is the only one who doesn't have a race attributed to him. Am I not able to get out of here without warping? Yeah, you have to warp to leave. Oh, okay. That's the only way out. Because the yeah. only way in is a giant drop. Okay. So the only way out is through warping. <laughs> Good luck. So do I just warp back and, uh, and put that... Go back that... to Firelink. Yeah, I put this in the snake's mouth. Yeah, you, you can put it in the snake thing if you want to. Um... I would actually suggest, though, that you don't do that right away. Okay. That you kind of look around and see if things have changed here. Go talk to Haircut, for instance. Uh, okay. Because <clears throat> he might have something interesting to tell you. Okay. What do you remember, want, asshole? Your Highness, where have you gone? I am entirely to blame for this. Oh, yeah. Woe is me. So. I am unworthy. <laughs> deathly so. Does this mean he's gonna just spare out into zombification? No. Uh, keep talking to him. We'll we'll see if uh, oh, his stuff changes. Miracles, was yeah, he's just selling miracles now. I lose myself. Pay, Pay me, me no, no mind. mind. Um. So. Should I enter a covenant? No, no, don't do it. Uh, just leave him. Okay, fine. Go upstairs. I, I think what if is, I had uh, killed him? Just go upstairs. Nothing uh, would have happened. Upstairs, no, like changes. up the... Yeah, yeah, up there. Go up into the chapel. Because I, I don't remember if we have uh, completed all of the requirements for this or not. But there should be a thing going on. And I, I could be wrong. We, we might be a little bit too early. In which case, just ignore me. But uh, see if there's something different about the actual church up here. Okay. <clears throat> Takes for damn. Yeah, I know. This is like, it's like the slowest elevator in the game. It's also like the tallest, I think. Is it? It might be. Uh, I'm not to sure. the left, to the to the actual part the of altar? The, the church part of this church, yeah. Ah, there she is. Talk to her. Your dude's just down there crying about yeah. you. So he's crying because she came back sad. <laughs> Yeah, you can go ahead and look at her. So, for an undead, she's actually not that undead looking. Yeah. <laughs> she's Rhea of Thorland. She is an undead the same as you, and she... She's just kind of sad. <laughs> Who's this in the statue? Uh, that's the goddess of... I think that's a... The argument is that that's one of the goddesses of fertility, and that it's probably supposed to be the giant woman uh gwen she's Gwyn got Guinevere. a baby sorry is that jesus uh, no no guinevere is is like a weird fertility goddess there, there's a chance that it's either guinevere or i have heard people suggest that it could actually be velka the goddess of judgment and that the child could then potentially be a child that velka had which a lot of people think could be priscilla the the half dragon Okay. Velka is the crow woman, though, so I, I don't so know. So she's half dragon, half crow? No, she's... Velka's a... She, her symbol is crows, but she's a god. Okay, Which Should is its I, own um... race. You can keep talking to her yeah. if you want to, sure. So uh, I can just I think buy... she will sell you miracles, okay. yes. If you want uh... to... Oh, learn gesture, by the way. There you go. She gives you prayer. 
Um, so purchase items. I think she's just got generic miracles. I think she's got some of the better ones in the game, but it's just, it's miracles. Yeah. We don't really use many of those. Uh, so now go downstairs and talk to, to fucked up haircut What'd you just guy. say to me? Uh, Varier Nox, which is something from the Way of White. Uh, specifically, it's probably a Thorland expression, and I think it means something along the lines of, like, it's probably like God be with you or some stupid shit like that. Oh, okay. Because they're very religious and they have their own language and yeah, yeah, yeah. Who are they religious to? Gwyn, specifically. Okay. They they worship. Uh, they are part of the the Way of White, which is a church that was started by the gods of human beings, so that human beings could worship the gods. Oh. <laughs> which sounds incredibly egotistical, and I it mean. is gods that's yeah. kind of part of how that works <clears throat> oh i'm sorry so i'm gonna warn you right now um you should buy everything from him real quick oh he's gonna die uh yeah anything that that he has that you don't have one of okay uh, i don't including well that. Yeah, held go. is different from uh it doesn't tell me what's in the box. Yeah, that is technically true. You shouldn't have any of these in the box, though, so... I think I have a talisman. No, no, I, I'm no? not talking about talismans. I'm, I'm talking about the, uh, Should I get the actual this? miracles. Yeah, go ahead and buy the Thorland talisman. Who the fuck gives a care? Uh, and then just buy all of these if you have enough souls for it. I know this is kind of a waste of your Nido souls, but, like, yeah, it's, it's a good fine. idea, trust me. So, uh, he's so go ahead and talk now. to him again, yeah. So wa walk away and then come back and talk to him. That, that by the way, is uh, oh, Framp sleeping on the other side of the wall. Yeah, I hate it. Okay, Sometimes he's not going to say it. <laughs> and I can't remember if you get more dialogue out of him for this. But he is going to turn and go up there and kill that woman. So you have a choice to make right now. No. Would you prefer that woman survive or yeah. this man? Then oh, do kill I kill him. him now? Then kill him. Oh, yeah. okay. I thought I had to wait You can do it whenever the fuck you want to, but do it now would be a better choice. He's dead. <laughs> there you go. So, I've been wanting to kill this fucker from the start. Yeah, me too. Oh, me I should have used that goddamn hand thing. Uh, you would have gotten maybe five humanity off oh, of him. Oh, well. You get two just for killing him, though. Uh, so go ahead and turn around. Turn around. D don't bother talking to her real fast. I, I don't know if she ever reacts to the fact that he's dead, to be honest. I don't remember. Um, <laughs> go to about where the crow is, right? So, like, in here, mm -hmm. pull to the left when you get to Frampt. Um, don't talk to him. Don't bother talking to Fram just yet. So gross. Uh, go through the doorway. So this is going to be more confusing. When you hit this point, look to your left. What the fuck? <laughs> Can I kill him? No. How many of you are there? <laughs> he's a humble merchant now. Hmm. So he's just been stripping things off corpses. So you could just... Buy shit from him now if you want. I should kick him. He's serious, by the way. No more funny business out of him. He won't fuck with you anymore for the rest of the game. Ugh. And he gives you prostration, which is I'm sorry. Oh, okay. It's a it's a deep Japanese bow. Okay, sure. And then if you keep talking to huh. him, I think he has other things to say too. And you can buy some really good shit from him that I think you, you can, can only just buy, buy that I think you can only these. buy from him. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't need them. No, you really don't. But if you want, like, Eyes of Death, if you want Humanities, if you want any of the weird weapons and shit that he has. He's been killing clerics, by the way. I can uh, tell. All of those weapons oh. were cleric weapons. I... Uh, these are the masks of the different people. And yeah, you should probably get a mask of the father at the very least. Um, and then skim through the rest of them because I don't remember what else he has. I You've have already this, got the child. Right? Yeah. And he's just got cleric mm. set. <laughs> there should be a mask of the grandma, and then we could just say like it was meant to be. No, no, no. It's it's uh, because the pinwheels only have three heads. Talk to him. Oh. Good stuff, eh? Oh. Don't you forget who got it for you. <laughs> <laughs> where do you even get he's those been masks? Killing the, well, he was in the tomb of the giants, which is where the pinwheels are. Yeah, but he. I don't know. He seems like he wouldn't be able to do You'd much. You think so? I don't know. Not limbs. <laughs> Okay. I like patches. Talk to him again. So he has things to say about everyone. 
fucking see it in his eyes. Also, if Who? you're female, he calls you my love. I didn't realize that. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's something he doesn't do if you're male. Who is he talking about? Uh, Shiva of the East. You have met him. He's part of the Forest Hunter Covenant. He's the, the guy with the weird helmet. He's got the ninja behind him. Oh, okay. It's that guy. Have you met that sunbathing So he'll, he'll just talk about NPCs. He's just gossiping and shit-talking people. How can he even <laughs> tell that I'm the girl under all this? I don't know. He's smart. <laughs> and he's saying, Solaire's an idiot, but he's a nice guy and he's strong, so keep him on your side. Don't fuck with Solaire. Okay. That's the guy you just killed. <laughs> and he's right. If you leave him alone, Petrus goes and kills uh, uh, the other one, the girl. Why does he do that? Because if you talk to... If you become friends with Latrec instead of, of becoming enemies with him... Is that even possible? Yes. If you let him out and you just let Latrec go... Would he have still... He comes back and he kills your, your firekeeper, yes. Um, but if you do that, like if you just become friends with him, uh, Latrec will consider you oh, a friend. This is such and dumb it, geometry. He talks to you and tells you, hey, you know Petrus? Petrus is a good guy too. Go hang out with him too. And then you get new dialogue from Petrus where Petrus kind of says, oh, oh, I'm, I'm just a cleric. I'm nice and I'm all this other stuff. And then you go, hey, so me and Latrec are buddies. And he goes, oh, fuck, you know Latrec? Okay, yeah, no. Fuck the people who came here to find me, dude. And he's like, I want to murder every single one of them as fast as I can. And it's because he is the second nobility of his, his nation. And uh, What's-Her-Face is the first. So she is like a princess, and he is a high priest cleric. And if she dies, he takes over. But he, they're he's stuck doing here. it for political gain. Yeah, he is potentially not an undead. Everybody huh. else in here just about is an undead. Petrus, I think, is one of the ones who probably isn't. Okay, apologies for this. <laughs> <laughs> but he's he's one of the ones who's probably not an undead, and as a direct result, uh, he could potentially go back at any time to his own home nation, back to Thorland. And if he did so... Strength? Yeah, sure. If he did so, yeah. he'd be like... Like, if the princess was dead or what have you, he would basically be welcomed in as a noble. And the way that you know this without him directly stating it the first time you meet him is his shitty fucking haircut. Because on the character creation screen, that haircut was an option, and it tells you it is only popular with nobility. That huh. only the highest of nobles have this shitty haircut. <laughs> but you don't even notice it unless somebody points it out. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah, he uh, sit down at the bonfire again. Oh, that's a good idea. He's a Thorolin noble. That's just the way that he is. Under and, her hood, does she have that haircut? Uh, no, no, because uh, females don't get that. Women don't don't have that haircut. It's a male haircut. Okay, what do they get? Instead? I mean, I guess you could have it if you wanted. I don't is, know. What's his name still over here? Uh, yeah, Logan should still be here. Just oh, I just leveled up, so yeah, I don't so you know don't have any... the souls enough to, to buy anything off. That's of them, fine. But... I'll get some. Honestly, before we we do everything, you do need to buy everything off of him anyway. Well, I can still beat the dragon, and it's fine um, if I manage to. Yeah, I think so. I think that's okay. We can't. Be I, I can never remember what the actual. Yeah, I know, but so I'm gonna try the dragon and see what happens. Well, you should try the dragon a couple of times because we we have uh, we barely started, honestly. It feels like it's been a I bit. Know, I know because you killed Nito, but remember that you killed Nito in like two tries. Yeah. Okay. It, it was not that long at all. Uh, I don't know where the fuck. Okay, there it is. I, I wasn't sure. Like you were approaching it from a weird direction. I was like, I, know I don't know I'm where new. the fuck the path is. I'm better with this shit than you are. You freak <clears> out <throat> sometimes, about jumping. Yeah. No, I just I couldn't see it. Was all. Nice jump. Yeah, that was actually amazing. <laughs> he's, he's really close to you now, so he's going to follow you forever, but nice jump. It is a nice jump. <coughs> I'm a nice Pardon. jump. Yeah, sometimes. Um, wow, what? <laughs> I don't know what it means, and you say sometimes? <laughs> I'm not even well, allowed to give myself a fake compliment. Well, maybe it wasn't a fake compliment. Maybe it was a fake insult, and you just don't know it. You know what? I don't know it. In which case, I am saying sometimes you're whatever that insult is. 
Yeah, I just uh, can't be, have Be any. careful of this golem pushing you off, though. Because yeah. remember, this is the, the stupid pillar. Uh, this is the pillar that looks real cool, but the geometry is all kinds of fucked. Oof. Yeah, you took a lot of damage doing that. Holy fuck. He's going to kill you if you ain't careful. Yeah. He's still He's slow. You, He's uh, slow. He it's is fine. a little slow, yeah. So it should mostly be fine. 